Senor! Please report on the happenings outside. It's, we're going in a little bit. Totally cool. I'm blood and I'm blood Hey April, could you give me some commentary about what's going on? Uh, we got Danya beeped. We gotta get him checked. You know? I'd like to introduce you all to my uh, to my, to my plane partner. It's me and Lindsay Wagner. We uh, we get to sit next to each other because our last names are both W A. Zoot. <laughs> hey. I thought I was the only one. Oh yeah, success, I made it through. It's not fair. <laughs> you know the whole plane ride too, he goes, Alejandro's that back there by herself. I was like, we'll go back there and sit with her. He goes, nah, I don't want to move. And then he didn't even wake me up when my breakfast came. Oh rude. I know. He just set it there next to my head. Hold on, we're let, let him hear, Robert. <laughs> oh, God. Shush, don't tell my secret. <laughs> <laughs> You ready? Go! Oh. It's hysterical. Hey everybody, we've just arrived at the airport and we met up with our e <laughs> <laughs> It's my ear! With our EF tour guide. And our Do you know her name? Mates. Do you know her name? Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Jennifer, it's Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay. And there's another one, man. I've got my pillow, and uh, we're uh, ready to head off today. We're running to the hotel, dropping off, dropping off all of our stuff, and we're gonna be, we're gonna be outside predominantly. We're gonna be outside predominantly today, so we're gonna need, uh, gonna need some jackets and some layers. So I, uh, I'll talk to you later. The dollar, the dollar is worth nothing here. Rob, I'm not gonna do it again, Rob. Run! Rob, I'm When we landed, it was nighttime. But now it's the bright time. What a great time to travel. Rob, we're not seeing you anymore. It's a cold day in Europe. Such a good show to sign. Welcome to the Jury Inn. Heathrow! Bonjour! Bonjour! Kate Chelsea. Uh, Kensington. So we're gonna have lunch and dinner at 6 p.m. We're eating Chinese. Okay. Um, now, you know where we're going. Our final destination is Piccadilly Circus. Yeah, so we don't have to change trains. Piccadilly yeah. Circus, that's what we call our little European London Times Square. Because you have lights everywhere and like commercial rooms. Very, very windy. We're uh, still walking. We're stopping. We're slowing down. We are slowing, slowing down. down. <laughs> Which is amazing because it just doesn't happen very often. Trafalgar! Trafalgar! Trafalgar Square! Andale, andale. Okay, you need to look on your right. Yeah. Okay, because traffic is the other way. Okay. 
never, be careful when you cross the street. I've never cracked in the statue. <laughs> Today on the Discovery Channel, we examine the most dangerous scavenger in all of London, like the pigeon. Watch as the pigeon mercilessly bobs in and out of unsuspecting Londoners, pecking at scraps of food on the ground. Oh, they all ran away. Oh, here comes one now. Stand back. Pigeons have been known to peck you. Lynn's day. Rob, don't videotape me. <laughs> this is an Arthur. It's artistic. Smile. Observe <laughs> as Mignol so takes I know, smile. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, hey, I told you you should have got texted because I could be texting you right now for free. Donnie, that was your cell phone. Yes, was it not? Wee oui, wee. Oui. And it works. Yes. And. How do your uh, how does your family feel about the surcharges? The twenty-four dollars a minute. Well, she said she's gonna stab me because I wasn't supposed to pick up the phone. Uh, My mother's very abusive. She's gonna hurt me. She's gonna stab me. So be scared. If I don't show up to school, you know what. Down in a thinking chair and think, think, think. Cause when we use our minds and take a step at a time, we can do anything Solve the puzzle. that we want to do. We found Jennifer! We! We are on our way to the National Gallery Art Museum and um, I am officially out of battery power in my uh, still camera, which uh, it's not the, you know, highest point of my day. Where else are we going today? Big Ben and... Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey. The National Portrait Gallery. And the National Portrait Gallery. <laughs>
I'm at Harrods Department Store in London. This place is just immaculate. It's ridiculous how big it is. They're, uh, I think I'm definitely lost, but I think I'm gonna try to find the candy. It's uh, 5, 10 p.m. Um, London time, and that means that it is uh, 11, 10 our time. So we've been basically up for going on two days now. So this is yeah, 36 hours. We're, we're tired, um, and we're waiting to go to dinner. We stopped at the Victoria and Albert um, Art and Design Museum here in London. Um, which has got some pretty cool stuff, I know, but I'm, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna take a look around, but uh, not extensively. Um, we're heading out to a Chinese restaurant to have dinner, and uh, and we have suspicions that the chandelier to my left. May fall on us, so I think we might move. Do you want me to ask Mignor where we're at? Yes. Mignor, where are we? Sorry, Mignor. Oh, look at your where are we? At Wanga Wanga. Wanga Wanga. Wrong. Joe, where are we? We are at Wanga Mama. We here. Joe knows where we're at. That's what I said, though. No, you said Wanga Mama. We're at Wanga Mama. This is a Chinese restaurant in London. And uh, we're preparing to eat, and they don't have our tables ready. So we are waiting for um, a pretty decent amount of time it's going to be. And I'm pretty much beyond the state of, uh, of hunger. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather be in bed, actually. Um, it's been a good day, though. We've seen a lot of stuff in a ridiculously short amount of time. Uh, but that's what this trip is for. I'm really, really excited about seeing Paris um, and all the French country, like, just speaking the language. And um, that's going to be really cool. So England's just a completely different place than I expected. Um, everything's just so... Uh, so like old but yet refined in a way like um they, they, all their all their buildings are all their buildings are old but they're they're refurbished and they're put together really nice and they've got a really good code of um how things look and our first course was chicken fried dumplings with uh, soy sauce and water and it was good oh it's starting to rain again it's the Second day of our trip, we're still touring London today. We're on our way to see the London Bridge. This is Harrods, and Harrods has 320 departments. They used to claim they could look after you from the womb to the tomb in Harrods with its pre prenatal department and its fu funerary department. I, can, I just, can I just take all credit for this? I don't, I don't want Steve to get anything. Aluminium. Are we all clear about the pronunciation of this word henceforth? None of this aluminum num 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 num. Look, look at it. The reason why we usually stop here. 
we will just stop, have a look at the outside of it. You can see the shrapnel damage that was done during the Se Second Wor World War. The church itself was almost entirely destroyed by fire bombs on the night of the 10th and the 11th of May, 1941. But they always leave the kind of shrap shrapnel damage uh, to remain. They rebuilt it and it's now de dedicated to the Royal Air Force and the American Air Force also has a chapel inside side there. If you want celebrities, ladies and gentlemen, can I recommend the building on the left, the London High Royal Courts of ju Justice. Just this week we had Paul, Sir Paul McCartney and his wife. Yeah, she didn't have a leg to stand on, but she still had 24 million, 50 million bucks to come out of that one. So uh, that's also where the, um, the, the inquiry into the death of Princess Diana is taking place, among all the other stuff that goes on in there. Allow you to get out here, it's just coming up for 11, 11 o'clock, what should we say? Here's another. <laughs> He's got his all on tape. Wow. Oh, I think it was camera. They look so American. To your left hand side is Her Majesty's American. Palace and Fortress April. of the Tower of London. It goes back a bit further than Canary Wolf. It goes back to the year 1078, when in the centre of all these these towers was built the White Tower. That was when they began to build in stone on the orders of William, Duke of Normandy, known to us as William the Conqueror. As you see the complex now, it dates from about the 13th century, with a moat, a wall, a ring of towers, and then the original white tower in, in, in the centre. It's used for all sorts of things in its 900 or so year history, including things, um, it's, but most famous perhaps, as a prison and a place of execution and torture. So, just to give you an idea, two of Henry VIII's wives were executed inside the Tower of London and in pr pr imprisonment. And then its big, big attraction are the crown jewels, the regalia that's worn at the coronation uh, cer ceremony of Westminster Abbey. So that's all inside the Tower of London. And then that huge church on your left-hand side is West. Minster Abbey and Westminster Abbey is the is the parish church of the nation it's where the kings and queens of this country are crowned and where up until the 18th century most of them were buried in Westminster Abbey and where Princess Diana's funerals service took place in 1997 I'm trying to think the people we always mentioned who are buried in Westminster Abbey Isaac Newton if the great scientist, George Frederick Handel, the great composer, now rapidly decomposing, even as we speak, in, in Westminster Abbey. And we'll do a very, would you read? Um, the other person you've probably heard of, Charles Dickens, the great writer of London, is buried. And at the end there is a building called Buckingham Palace. And Buckingham Palace, it's the main home for the Sovereign, the Queen in, in London. We are on the tube and like before, um, we've had a little bit of issues with the tube today. Um, first getting on the wrong train and now I think there's a train broken down on the track ahead of us. So we're currently waiting, we're currently waiting at uh, what station are we at? We're at... Oh my god we are. We're at Piccadilly Circus. We're at Piccadilly Circus, so we're currently having a circus in the tube. 
We're only one well, stop. Eating. There's Sandwiches. only one stop in between the stop that we got on the wrong train at and this stop. So we're having a good time. We're at the very end. Stuck in London. <laughs> we're on. The drama Join continues. us again tomorrow for <laughs> the conclusion. Live to you from Piccadilly St Piccadilly yeah Piccadilly Circus Station. This is what an empty tube train looks like. We just had to evacuate. Um, apparently this train is being taken out of service and we are heading outside to uh, catch another train. So, talk to you later. Well, I'm just standing outside of my uh, hotel here in London. We're about to uh, pack up and take the bus to the Euro train and get on the train that's going to take us to, uh, to France today. Yeah, I'm excited to see France though and get to <laughs> attempt to speak French. We are uh, on the Eurostar, which I uh, would like to comment that the seats are uh, more comfortable than the airplane, which our airplane was uh, a pretty nice airplane. It's the biggest airplane I've ever been on. Um, so we're heading to France and I officially talked to my first French person in uh, French slash English territory, um, just getting on the Eurostar. So. so Bravo, what what did you want them to confiscate? Scarlet Letter. That's my uh, my <laughs> book that I have to read for my English class back in America. And did he confiscate it? Unfortunately, no. He said good luck. Good luck. It's a romance. Yeah, it's a romance. We're here on the Eurostar reporting live. <laughs> What's going on, Alejandro? We are just in a tunnel. Oh my god, our ears are bopping every five seconds. This is much worse than the airplane. I do not understand. What's for lunch, you ask? Well, I have. A chicken and mustard sandwich. Kettle chips. And a Sprite. But this Sprite isn't a normal Sprite. This Sprite is sweetened with real sugar and not corn syrup. It's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, the local time is 25 minutes past 5 and we'll soon be arriving at Calais Fretin for a very short stop. If you are leaving us here, please remember to take all your personal belongings with you. Thank you for traveling with your staff and have a very pleasant afternoon. Il neige! Bienvenue à Paris. Peut-être. J'espère. <laughs> well, we will be in Paris. I hope. We don't know where we are. We all fell asleep, so we don't know if we're in England or in Paris or in some French part of England. Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the, the tour... like <laughs> making fun of one of my vlog moments, so... The, um, the tour is called Across the English Channel, and, um, unfortunately, I missed the whole English Channel part, like, um, I think our entire group did, so... This train, you know, I, I guess the I could equate it to like a, a, a rocking a, 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 a bassinet or something. Like, it's I think cradle. everybody got knocked out. So, um, I don't think we're in a French part of England. I just cannot believe that I cannot believe that we're not. I can't believe that we're in France and I, I missed the whole, you know, going in the 20 minute tunnel we're thing. France, we're, so, <laughs> we're just, um, you know, this is the worst jet lag as far as like confusion goes. So, um, 
see yeah. the Eiffel Tower. It's been interesting. Ooh, the cars road. are driving on the right side of the road again, so. So that's back to normal. Um, like that. That's pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm excited about that. I don't like birds. Anything with feathers? No. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> <Like> birds. <laughs> oh, there's a bird right there. They're there. everywhere. <laughs> wee wee. Dennis, you don't like birds? No. Yeah, we should stick together. <laughs> no birds. You're making no fun birds. of me earlier. No Heckling Julie now. Hey Joe, what time is it? It's two minutes till James Bond o'clock. Hey Joe, what time is it? It's almost James Bond o'clock. Hey Joe, what time is it? It's James Bond o'clock. Alors bonjour à tous. Bonjour. Je, vous, je, bonjour. Veux vous, je veux vous entendre parler français. Uh, no. Donc oui, oui. <laughs> oui. <laughs> Il parle très bien. Exactement. Votre professeur est en train de me dire que vous parlez très bien le français. Alors vous pouvez faire un effort avec moi. Moi je me moque pas. <laughs> Mars Phil, Mars, the king uh, of... Je suis ici. I am here, the Notre Dame. Um, it's huge. I would have never, never expected it to be this big. So you have to rub it. That means that you'll be back in Paris second time. Oh, we have to rub it. <laughs> well, now you're never going to be back ever again. <laughs> Uh oh, gonna come back. I'm standing on the zero point in uh, in Paris here. This is what everything is measured from. So I just want to give you a little look around about what it's like to see everything from what the zero point is. Everything in Paris and in France is measured from this exact point right in front of the Notre Dame. I'm in the Louvre and we are uh, going to see the Mona Lisa. It's very, very crowded. Today is a uh, bank holiday, so the Monday after Easter. So none of the, basically none of the shops and everything is open, so all there is to do is the museums and eat. Don't forget eating, it's always awesome. But, uh, so there are, there are a lot of people here. No, I'm not in jail, but this is the Louvre, and uh, it's quite a labyrinth, so you uh, might as well be, you know, if you get lost, you might get locked in here at night, so it's, it's absolutely huge. We've only been in here about two hours and haven't seen much, really, so we're uh, heading to dinner, though. It's just a small taste of just the ridiculous size of this place.
противоположную, выдвигайте на улицу. We're about to leave the Louvre and uh, we're just waiting for our train tickets, for our guide to get our train tickets. And uh, we noticed an interesting store. Um, Europe has a little bit of a problem with uh, lack of, uh, of trash cans. Well, uh, you know, this is probably where they're all hiding. What do you think of the music down the station? Train Bella. Crackerberry? Yes, yeah, crack Crackerberry. Crackerberry. Bonsoir. Good, good evening. I'm standing in front of the Sacré Coeur, um, the Sacré Coeur Church Chapel, and uh, behind it is the uh, the Montmartre, which is the town, which uh, it's referred to like the town of artists. It's actually the highest point in Paris. We've got a beautiful view of uh, of the city from up here. I have mon billet, my ticket, and uh, we're ready to climb the stairs, which is uh, it's 284 feet or 50 meters. John, you've been here about the plane before, haven't you? Yeah. What was that? Five times. Five times? Yep. Are you seriously filming this? We. had a great day in Paris and we're heading to Versailles next to see the Palace of Versailles and uh, we're doing the Eiffel Tower tonight in the dark um, we have special passes to go up late at night so we'll be getting back to the hotel probably around 11 and uh, we take off tomorrow morning at 7 well no yeah yeah we take off at 7 but we have to leave um, at about 4 in the morning so it's gonna be a long last day in Paris and a short morning and we're off The 
but the meeting point will be on the parking at the gate. On the parking at 5.40. 5.40. It is now 10 past 4. So we, 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 we go through. Huh? So I, I... to find the beast that lives under the seed. Mignor, have you heard anything suspicious? Oh no. I heard Min it getting squirted. Mignor, I think you're lying. It's coming now. Where is that coming from? Mignor, oh you're in grave danger. Mignor, move out of the way. Go. Feet, feet. Help me, too. You are in danger. Oh, oh no. Don't. Oh. Mignor, it doesn't have you. We're on the bus. There's, there's something, there's something haunting the bus. We can't find it, but it got Mignor. We, we took her to the hospital, we sent her to the hospital, and we think she's gonna be okay. But we don't know, we've never been to a Parisian hospital. It could be worse than the haunted bus. The auto, bu auto bus or auto car is haunted. Auto bus. We're so scared. It could be anywhere. This, this, the sound, the sound. Where is it? Oh no. Oh, oh, someone's shoe. They must be. They're, I hope they're still alive. Are you still alive? Follow the shoe. Follow the body. Oh. Oh, oh, it's Laura. Laura, are you okay, Laura? Laura, Laura, wake up, Laura. Wake up. Laura, wake up. Wake up, Laura. We must send her to the hospital also. I think she's injured. She's not responding. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no. uh, it's advert. I'm dead, so I don't know why I'm keeping it. This guy looks Oh, yeah, it does. It's already recorded. I don't know. Hey, dude, you're gonna shout at me. Mignor, how did this feel? 
You're with the famous. Alright, one more time. I'm gonna get the flash on. This is Rob taking a picture of Menor's dream guy. <laughs> Lost in Paris. I'm scared. There's no way they forgot it. So they must have either are hiding from us or left. They left or they're hiding. Because there's no way they would have forgot about it. It's the one in front of it. Why is it just waiting for you the whole time? I mean, they told me they told me to wait. You are love stoned. That's what's going on. So you're like, oh my god, where are we? C'est vrai, c'est vrai. No, we just said that. We <laughs> hey, go. Come on, come on. Oh, she's fast. Anybody guess where I'm at? Let me give you a hint. Oh la la! I am standing at the Eiffel Tower in Paris on Tuesday, and that's the last night. But I'm glad that this worked out, and I'm gonna get to the the Eiffel Tower at night. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, just waiting for our tickets, and uh, we're gonna. We've got an hour and a half after we get on the elevator to explore. And I promise I'll take a lot of good pictures. I promise. And I need to find a crepe very badly. You would not believe the girls who are willing to give you kisses just because you're under the Eiffel Tower. I highly recommend it. I am, a, I am under the Eiffel Tower. It is very, very windy. I am being blown in a tornado. Oh la la! Oh no! La! Bienvenue à la Tour Eiffel. It is just ridiculously beautiful. I uh, surrounded right now. The tower is flashing. 
and uh, and Paris is just amazing. You know, like when they do illuminations, they have those lights on it. Oh, that's good. Sorry. Context jump. C'est fini. Oh, well, I slept One glass of milk, one glass of flour, to make sure two eggs and half a glass of water. And they're very special ingredient. Don't forget that, Rob. For crepes. Bon matin. It is. It's like six in the morning, and we're at the airport. We've got like 17 hours of flying to do. And I've got even more because I'm meeting up with my family for the rest of vacation. So, this is going to be a long, long day. And it didn't have a great start. Isn't that right, Brittany Boyd? Brittany, please come here and tell us your story. What story? Histoire? The story of the the leaky. Oh yeah. <laughs> liquid, liquid is uh, liquid in airports. Liquid in airports is uh, prohibited. No, no. Everywhere. Don't ever do it. Oh. Um, <laughs> I would like to share with you a living testament to this fact. Um, meet Brittany Boyd. Hi. Hey, Brittany. Um, what exactly happened to you this morning? Uh, the lady tried to throw my lotions away. Yeah, it was not pretty at all. What did, uh, what happened? What do you mean? Oh, she put it in a plastic bag for me. It's nice. All of them? We, well, most of it. Most of it? What do you mean most of it? Except, a, like, a big bottle of spray. Spray? Is it, it sad? Hmm? Where'd you get it? Um, Kmart. <laughs> Are you sad? Mm, no. No. I tu es très, très, très Very happy. Oui, no. No. Oui. Moi aussi. 